You are listening to ChartingWealth.com for Tuesday, the 28th of August, 2018. We see stocks up for the day, 20-year bonds down, and we see gold up. Let's jump into the market. What do we see going on in the S&P 500? And we always start off on that weekly chart. We had a bit of a pullback in the market, not a real big pullback, but a red spinning top all the way back on the week ending the 17th of August, and last week, an up week, and so far this week, a nice big candle starting the week off. Now again, this is our Heiken Ashi average pace candlestick. It is calculated differently, 80-something thousand people who listen to our training that we have available under Heiken Ashi candlesticks at the website or at our YouTube channel. Please go to both and subscribe. You can get all of our information at our YouTube channel and also at chartingwealth.com where you can sign up for and subscribe to our daily market review. So what do we see going on? Price movement is well above the weekly in the two-day trend lines. Derivative oscillator gaining momentum. Price percent oscillator heading up quite nicely. Again, we have been in that move for quite a while on the S&P 500. As we tune into the two-day, you can see where we'd gotten close to crossing over on the two-day trend back on the 16th. And then what happened after three down candles? Things started popping up and moving. And of course, we saw the last candle was a green up candle ending on Friday. This is the first day of the latest two-day candle. Nice big candle, like we said, price movement well above the two-day and the weekly, and in fact, we can start redrawing that two-day trend line to get it a little closer and to show some of the steepness that's been going up. It'll also give us a pulling out point quicker than using historically an older points. And we see the derivative oscillator gaining momentum, price percent oscillator spiking up. Remember, we still have another day before that candle finishes drawing. What do we see on the four-hour chart? Well, two days of nice, strong up movement. If you remember, after the pullback, we had a jumping in point somewhere around the 184.50 mark or so. And of course, we've been as high as one I'm sorry, I always always say one instead of two. 284.50, we have had a high somewhere around 289.73, something like that, in just the last few days. So again, it's beautiful to see our method working, and it sure has on the S&P 500. Does it always work? No, nothing always works in the stock market, but it is pretty uh, pretty darn amazing. If you don't have our book, Please do get a copy, Charting Your Way Too Well, that explains both of our primary methods for trading. Now, what do we see going on on the Qs? That is the NASDAQ 100. Well, we see QQQ as it continues to move forward. Uh, Again, it's not nearly as strong as the S&P 500, but starting the week off nicely moving up. Derivative oscillator gaining upward momentum. Price percent oscillator trying to move away from the red signal line. And we do have a green uh, box that is forming. Now let's check out that two-day chart. Hasn't crossed over yet. Trying to. Maybe it will by the end of the day on Tuesday. That, of course, would give us what we are looking for. And that is a uh, two-day chart moving in the same direction as the weekly, which will then set us up for a potential up trade if indeed that occurs. So keep our eye on things. The derivative oscillator has already flipped over to positive. What do we see on the four-hour chart? Strong up movement. I mean, just kicking it the last two days. Derivative oscillator getting upward momentum. Price percent oscillator spiking up. So we'll keep our eye on the cues. Back to the weekly chart and on to 20-year bonds. What's going on there? Well, 20-year bonds are, of course, in a confirmed up move since all the way back on the week ending the 25th of June. Let's see, May, sorry, of May. Uh, Up for a while, down for three weeks, and then over the last, well, three weeks it had been going up. This week, we see a red open box. That's just the first day of the latest five-day candle derivative oscillator heading up, price percent oscillator. So far, losing a little bit of momentum. Again, it was a down day of just over half a percent for TLT. What do we see going on on the two-day chart? Well, hasn't moved through that really strong two-day trend line, but is laying right on it. We'll see how things finish up. Derivative oscillator's gone flat. Price percent oscillator still heading up not nearly as strongly. What do we see on the four-hour chart? Well, it did cross over 
in the morning and heading down, derivative oscillators gone negative, price percent oscillator crossed over going down. So again, it is a potential pullback underway. If indeed uh, over the course of the week things cross back over heading up and the two-day and the weekly are still in confirmed up moves, that's your jumping in point, my friends. Remember, we are trend followers. Let the trend be set with the two-day and the weekly. And then after that pullback on the four-hour chart, if one does occur, that's when we hop in. Safest way that we found to make sure that your number one rule, rule for trading is obeyed. First rule, don't lose money. Second rule, make money. Let's go on to gold on the weekly chart. Gold is trying to cross over going up. It's pushed through the two-day and the weekly. And again, we see the price percent oscillator heading up just a little bit now. Derivative oscillator is going into its second week so far of losing downward momentum, trying to head up. What do we see on that two-day chart? Well, that two-day chart, of course, crossed over on Friday, and we're going into the third, the third candle of up movement, again, pushing through the two-day and the weekly, just this first day on the two-day chart. Derivative oscillator gaining maximum, maximum energy heading up, price percent oscillator heading up, and what's going on on that four-hour chart. Well, last two days spiking up quite nicely. And again, over those last two days, pushing through the weekly and the two-day trend lines, derivative oscillator gaining momentum, price percent oscillator. So again, we'll continue to keep our eye on things, pay attention to what's going on, and see if gold is going to continue this sustained up movement. And when that weekly trend crosses over, that might give us a jumping in point. So please continue to follow these charts with us. We can go ahead and get rid of our two-day trend line. Actually, what we'll do is we will reverse it so we don't get confused anymore. Move it in the right direction. There we go. And again, with the two day heading up and the weekly heading down. We don't have a trade until one of them starts moving in the direction of the other and we have a pullback on the four hour chart. Then we can jump in. Friends, that's where we are as we end the day on Monday. Go into Tuesday the 28th. Buy our book. God bless you. All the best from the whole team here at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.